In this video, I will show you how to set up your USB data logger. To begin, click Set up and start the USB data logger. You are presented with a number of options. First, you can give each data logger a unique name. This will help you identify individual loggers quickly. Next, you can choose between degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then, choose how often you want the logger to take a reading. You will note with these options in brackets, it shows how long it will take the data logger to fill up with data. Once that is complete, click Next. If you have a data logger with a display, you have a few options relating to the display. Firstly, how often do you want to look at the display? You can choose to have the LCD off, on for 30 seconds after you press the button, or on at all times. Choosing to be economic with the use of the display will improve the battery life of the logger. Next, you can choose if you want the data logger to stop when it is full, or whether you want it to roll over and continue to take readings. If you are simply interested in alarms, then perhaps a rollover option is better fit for you. If you need to download and save all readings, then programming the logger to stop may be a better option. Once that is complete, click Next. The next page is Alarm Setup. You are going to set alarms for temperature, so click on the tick box here, which will allow us to set the high temperatures. Using the scroll down button here, choose the appropriate value. You will note to the right hand side that there is a tick box saying hold. This is a feature that will continue to show an alarm condition even if the temperature has returned to a normal condition. I will do the same for the low alarm and select the appropriate temperatures then select hold for both of them. If you wish to not set up temperature alarms, leave the boxes unticked and click next. If it is a humidity logger, you can do the same for the relative humidity page, but I am going to leave these for the time being. If you are using one of the thermistor probe loggers, there are options for the probe type as well. You just need to make sure that the selection matches the probe type you have. Finally, you can set up how you want the data logger to start. You can start with an immediate start, to start when the data logger button is pressed, or select delay the start, which allows you to put a set time and date that you want the data logger to begin recording. Once that is complete, click finish and your data logger is now complete. Simply click OK to exit. Now you can take the data logger out of the USB port and place it in the desired location as it is ready to start taking data.